Today, I would like to share more about relationship agreements and why relationship agreements are so crucial in building conscious relationships, right? The sacred union, uh, more evolved models, diverse models of relationships based on who we are as souls and human beings, not just a role-based, you know, pattern-based relationship where we just play a role of a wife or a role of the husband that can be easily replaceable. That's what happens when we see an individual person as a role, that you can replace them, right? Yet nobody likes to be seen that way. Nobody wants to be in that position. So there is a conflict there. So we're all here to learn how to navigate our relationships, our intimacy in a different way. And it's like so different from what we've learned, what we experienced in the past, what we've seen in the culture, right? And relationship agreements, this is some essential piece for couples to integrate in their relationship because basically it gives you like a map, it gives you a point of reference of how you two connect and what you agree upon, right? You have clarity what another person uh, desires how they're wired and that can be very different from yours so this agreement is not <laughs> equal on both sides right it's equal in terms of like honoring your needs and desires but it's going to be very different of how you want to be to be supported for example and your partner wants to be supported and it's important to really clarify that <laughs> and really get to know each other right because for example if you agree to show up for each other right in a difficult situation and you've got your partner's back and he's got your back or she and that's it. So you don't really go deeper into what it exactly means. So, so when situation arises, something happens, you might feel very disappointed and very surprised that your partner didn't show up for you. But in their perception, they might feel they totally did. You know, they felt they were in alignment with how they understand being there for somebody, right? And they may be giving you something that they think is good for you or projecting what they need in such situation on you, but that can be very different than yours, right? So, for example, some people, when they're stressed, when they're, you know, in distress, they want to be spend time alone and like refocus, recenter, right? They want to be left alone. They ask for space. Other people would choose to be held and they would choose to talk to somebody to to share, you know, to vent, to and then to receive some, uh, some support. So these are completely opposite needs and preferences that we can observe in the relationship. So we can't really <laughs> project this on each other because we're different, right? And when we learn how feminine masculine is wired, right? How women are wired differently and men are wired differently, on the emotional level, on the somatic, like in our body, physiological level, we understand that, you know, there's so much to learn and we can't really project these needs on each other. They are very different. So these are areas where we do need relationship agreements and we need them based on our experience exploring relationship together from specific situations right when something happens we learn from all the situations even in my work with people I, we really go back and really investigate on in each situation because it gives you real experience so it's not theoretical right everybody wants to have love and support and trust but what exactly it means and how would you like to receive that in different situations Right. That can be like vast differences between people. So 
and this is what we need to learn and this is what we need to integrate in our relationship and learn the art of making agreements right the art of communication because many people just want to get over disagreement or conflict or something and they don't want to go deep they don't want to dig you know it's it's, not, it's very different than dwelling on something right investigating and working through different situations it's very different than dwelling on something and like recycling the same conflict like that's the reason why we recycle the same conflicts because we never investigate we never learned and we never make agreements agreements based on those situations so i hope it was helpful for you today